Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Kadeet. All right, y'all, let's do a little uh, check right here and let's talk about who Kamala Harris is. She's the daughter of uh, immigrants um, and um, Indian and Jamaican. In fact, I'm a few years older than Miss Harris. Ms. Harris. Kamala Harris, 55, is Joe Biden's vice president pick. Uh, Harris is the first black woman to serve as San Francisco's district attorney. First black woman to serve California's general attorney general. And now the first black woman vice presidential candidate. A la shades of Barack Obama. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, she was born on October 20th, 1964, a Libra in Oakland, California, in a much less affluent neighborhood to an Indian mother and a Jamaican father. Biden had vowed to name a woman as his running mate, and Harris's name was already on the list, but after Floyd's death, Pressure increased on the Democratic nominee to name a black woman. Her ties to the Biden family go way back to the eldest son, Bo, who died of complications of brain cancer in May of 2015. As the two connected when they served as attorney generals in their respective states. Her national profile increased when she drew on her experience to engage in political combat. Whether it was with Trump's officials as nominees in the Senate hearings or with Biden on the Democratic debate stage, didn't matter. In November, she laid off staff and pinned all her hopes on Iowa. But a month later, uh, she dropped out of the presidential race. Two months before Iowa held its caucuses. Okay, I didn't know it was that much before. Okay, so, you know, and I hope that Kamala knows what's at her next. Uh, And I'm sure she does. I'm sure she weighed up the cost. Um, It says she named herself uh, a name for herself, both in her work as a prosecutor and in the society pages for her friendships with the city's elite and her relationship with former mayor, y'all already know, Willie Downtown Brown. She uh, launched her career as a city's district attorney, became California's attorney general, and moved on to the state senate, I mean to the senate in 2016 after Senator Barbara Boxer had retired. Her national profile increased when she drew on her experience as a lawyer to engage in a lot of political combat. Whether it was with Donald Trump's officials and the nominees in the Senate or with Biden. It was that spanking on the debate stage when she criticized Joe Biden for his standing on the federal busing program that benefited minorities, including herself, that elevated her to the top tier of presidential candidates. It also earned her a nickname from Trump, who dubbed her Phony Kamala. So, my thing is, she better look out for the mud swinging. And she's a tough cookie. Um, because if she thought that first round was stressful, this right here is going to really test what she's made of. And so, um, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Um, I guess this is what she tweeted out yesterday. She said, Joe Biden can unify the American people because he spent his life fighting for us. 
And as president, he'll build an America that lives up to our ideals. I'm honored to join him as our party, party's nominee for vice president and do what it takes to make him our commander in chief. What y'all think about that? Please be open and honest about what you think about Kamala Harris running, I mean, being the vice president nominee now and being picked by Joe Biden. Please let me know what y'all think. Leave, leave your comments below. And I'm going to see you in the next video.